imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Well, no shit, Sherlock. That doesn't even seem like a fortune. Who about to imitate me? It can't be done. I'm original. I'm completely unique. Ain't no one got this quick witty mind like me. <laughs> Stupid. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to this installment of Risking My Life for some Chinese food. I'm just kidding, it's not that deep, I'm not scared, and it has nothing to do with Chinese food. All food could be infected. I'm in a city where we haven't really been affected yet, or infected, or whatever you want to call it. We are not in quarantine, we are not in lockdown, although I've heard that we are out of toilet paper. So before we do anything more, we must up 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 pour. So if you like your beverages to be glacial for up to 36 hours at a time, the best way to make that happen is with our fellow here. Mr. Coldest Water. He's a 21 ounce water bottle. Very nice and perfect for daily life, okay? Uh, if you'd like to buy one or many or more or, you know, what have you, if you want to have a whole shopping extravaganza, you click the link down below and you save 10% on your entire order with code HOODIE. Also, they have a weekly giveaway of a bottle you just enter your name you have a chance to win a free coldest water bottle so we are going to pour a mystery and today it's it's water again y'all know i'm just on this water kick right now i'm trying to keep it clean i'm trying to keep it healthy i'm trying to keep it nice that's bobby boucher quality water i got a lot of stuff to jibber jabber about probably but before we do that we're going to talk about this order of food that we got so we have the chicken balls dripping that rice we have our cigs and by that I mean Vietnamese spring rolls these are looking so good I should also mention I didn't order this from my favorite spot because my favorite spot seems to lack noodles which we have here this is a chicken lo mein soft noodle we have beef and greens back here and then we have chicken fried rice and two sweet and soury sauces so we are going to start this off by lighting a SIG. And for all of those who know about SIG lighting, I commend you for being here this long with me. So for those of you who know about lighting SIGs, that's an inside joke from back in the day. If you've been here this long, shout out to you. I will give you a quick up close look at the SIG and we buy it. Like I said, this is from a brand new place. I've never tried it. This the the establishment is literally called Asian. <laughs> I suppose Mr. Chinese is pretty close in terms of a very obviously Asian name, but this place is called Asian. So my first time trying it, and to be honest with you. It's a great experience so far. Price point is good. The delivery dude turned into my best friend because he recognized that my number that I called from was a Toronto area code number. He asked me about it at the door. Turns out he lived there for 17 years in basically the same area that I lived in. So we chopped it up a bit about Toronto and all that. He, I guess, moved here four years ago saying he said the same thing as me basically is that too expensive, too crazy, too populated, too wild. So he us. He also said that, uh, He's an outdoorsman. He likes to go fishing and stuff. And he used to have to drive, you know, 120 kilometers and things like that to uh, to make that a reality. Living in Toronto, and that's true, you do have to trek your ass to the surrounding areas to make any sort of outdoor activities in Toronto 
happen for yourself, snowboarding, things like that. In this city, wildlife, wilderness, all kinds of lakes, inland lakes, big lakes, whatever kind of lakes you want, nature, hunting, all that shit is accessible within a half hour. Mm. This is definitely what my favorite Chinese place has been lacking. They, they do not have proper noodles, they just have crispy chow mein. Which I'm not down for. As much as noodles. I am legit starving, starving, starving for this meal. I'm like 20 hours fasted uh, or more actually at this point. And today when I woke up, I watched Snoopy Eats do uh, this Chinese food mukbang challenge. Then another mukbanger, Tosh Point Fro, Put out to kind of combat the fear mongering and sort of semi racism that's happening around Chinese people and Chinese food and things like that or whatever just due to this virus. She made the challenge to be like. creating and raising awareness surrounding this like pandemic and how we shouldn't be condemning Chinese people or afraid of them or whatever. Um, part of me feels like making a mukbang challenge in itself in regards to that is feels feels kind of like opportunist and also a little bit racist uh high key like underhandedly like i know that's not the intention here but i feel as if that's It kind of comes off like that regardless. Um, also, my sister just got home and she's all psyched about the dog. So if you hear some craziness in the background and baby talk for a dog, that's what that is. And I can't avoid it. Mm. But uh, I also like <laughs> feel like creating a challenge around the coronavirus virus is just being like very opportunistic of trying to like pump those numbers up due to like this thing that's trending so what i'm really trying to say is that i'm not going to include that in my title for this video i'm just going to say chinese food eating chinese food because that's really all this is uh also I uh, I just got a mega crave after watching Snoopy Eats have his Chinese food. I was like, Bet I need Chinese food today. Because it's been a long, long while since I've had a good, a good Chinese food meal. And I love Chinese food. And on 
that note, I must say, this new experience of this place Mr. Chinese Bear, watch out. Cause this is as good or better. Has noodles and is cheaper. And yes, I do drench my rice in sweet and sour because both I love the flavor and two it's a technical move uh, it's a little pro move it helps it all kind of clump together and not spill all over the place so if you ever have rice escape issues that kind of solves that for you I will say it is mildly alarming how serious people are starting to take <clears throat> take this virus. Uh, even in our my city where there's like no cases of it yet, I'm sure it'll come here. Um, <clears throat> but like toilet paper, once again, like everywhere else, completely out. Hand sanitizer, completely out. Mm. That is a proper chicken ball. Perfectly cooked, not much dough, perfect white. This place is my new, sh my new jam. Man, shout out Asian. But yeah, for real, apparently in like in the markets here, like food's kind of getting a little a little tight. The doomsday preppers are truly freaking out. It's I guess mildly concerning when people start acting like this but I'm not gonna lose my head over it I really don't think it's gonna be near big of a deal as it seems to be however schools are closing all sports are shutting down things like that so I mean On one hand, it does seem like no big deal, but on the other hand, people are acting like this is nothing to play with. I really don't understand what the toilet paper thing is about. Um, I didn't know. I guess when you get sick, you might have diarrhea, maybe. I don't know, but I just didn't know people were so concerned about wiping their butt. Like... I don't see to how toilet paper helps you in getting sick. I guess, you know, if you don't have toilet paper, you can just take a deuce and take a shower. Worst case scenario. Um, I would definitely benefit from a bidet in this scenario. I wish I had a bidet at all times, to be honest with you. I wish bidets were the norm in my part of the world and they were installed because I've wanted one forever. I think it makes so much sense I've never understood how just like this like soft dry piece of paper is sufficient for dealing with you know vile excrement that comes out of your body bad conversation for a mukbang I'm sorry it's just never made sense to me A thorough wash, maybe a baby wipe. Something to clean, clear, under control, and sanitize the situation makes more sense to me.
as far as doo doo is concerned. I'm sorry I had to take it there during a meal. It just is what it is. It's where my brain went. Whoops. Another sig. Mm. If you never had a Vietnamese spring roll, you are missing out on something special in life. say one thing for certain if this thing does get crazy I've never been so happy to have YouTube and work from home you know what I mean I don't have to go out into public I can basically quarantine and isolate myself in this house and expose myself to almost nobody at all times I can make money independently from the internet. <laughs> I don't have to take forced time off or anything if my work closes, you know what I mean? And, uh, even if the food supply gets low or runs out or whatever, I can switch up my content. I can just do story times. Chewing gum, ASMR. I could report on the coronavirus. I can tell you guys a bunch of different stuff, you know? I may not get the same amount of views as the food videos, but hey man, if I just pump out, you know, some making music or or commentary content, or true crime, or ASMR, or whatever. If I pump out like two videos a day, and you guys are all holed up in your houses with nothing better to do than surf the internet and watch YouTube, might be a blessing in disguise for me. I might gain a lot of traffic. views or views or views I'm sure I can still get at least 5,000 a video just pump out like 60 videos in a month <laughs> we good all right this is gonna be the last bite I'm definitely full and hitting the wall here but one more thing to do And that is to find out one man's fortune. Spin the spin the wheel of fortune cookies. All right, let's find out. Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Well, no shit, Sherlock. That doesn't even seem like a fortune. Who about to imitate me? It can't be done. I'm original. I'm completely unique. Look at my fingerprint. <laughs> Ain't no one got this quick-witty mind like me. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I guess I'll have to keep my eye out on the mukbang community and see who's trying to be a black hoodie 2.0, you know what I mean? All right, the house is ruckus. You can hear cutlery slinging around. It's hard to operate around all these other noises. 
So we cut it here. You know what I mean? Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.